Well, great. That was a film called Black Leaf. Yes. Uh, is it about tea? Uh, it is about, yes, tea, tea garden. garden. Yeah. yeah, tea garden. I mean, it is based on a very true story. I mean, uh -huh. one of my grandfather was killed by a, um, a factory worker, a uh -huh. garden worker. Uh -huh. um, for, for there's a long, long story, right. but I have always when I was very young. But I have always felt that there is a very subtle conflict that has been going on for over years, and this Blackleaf film is a, a little treatment about that right. issue right. Uh, yeah. in a quite an artistic manner. Could, could you just explain what is it about? I mean, oh, it is about actually what happened. It's just it's just that one young man. You know, he was beaten by. Um, by one of the officer right. and he promised that he's going to take a revenge right. so he has been waiting so this film start with the waiting process right. so this gentleman this boy is waiting for something and then one day when he found the opportunity he killed him mm -hmm. and one interesting thing is that on the on the on the short when I was doing the short um, on the blood, there's a suddenly a butterfly came in. My camera was won, <laughs> so that was a very good moment. I mean, this film was selected as official selection at Montreal World Film Festival. Right. See, uh, I didn't say representing say Bangladesh. Sorry. Representing Bangladesh. Representing Bangladesh, of course. Yes, yes. Uh, and also shown in Dhaka and various other festivals as well. Um, and I have made few other films. I mean, uh, my film Rakto Joba is yes. now part of a curriculum. That was, Bangladesh that was in 2003, yes, isn't yes. it? Yes, And that, uh, that was, uh, you sold to Australian TV. Yes, SDTP, yes. Uh, right. I, that film, I, I went to Cannes Film Festival on the short film corner, not on the competition. Right. And um, that was the market. So right. after I came back and I got an email from this TV that she has seen this film there. Right. And she asked me, I think $1,600. That was the first broadcast <laughs> sale. Um, Oh, it's, it's like uh, giving them the rights to use Three it. Yes, right, yeah. And it was on the internet as well. Right. Yeah. So they kept them right and they're shown it. It's not a world world, right? Is it just for Australia? No, just for Australia. I mean, this film has been shown in, in Malaysia, in Japan, in Dhaka, in India as well. Um, the Rakto Java. Rakto right. Java also was part of the curriculum at the National Film Institute currently in right. Mirpur. Right, right. Yeah. As an so, example of for something? I mean, it kind of, I mean, Somehow, I mean, one as day a, I as a text like text like yeah. <laughs> one day uh, I met a few s group of students in Jatiya Jatiya two years ago. I went to the festival and and then somehow I know I, I and in a meeting I said my name is Makbul Chaudhary. And then I, after that they came approached me and said, oh, we have to remember your you know there is a <laughs> shot of a yard shot where this boy diffuses the flower. I said we have to remember we have to write down you know research. We have to see it again and again. You know, like how right. we research a story and try to remember and memorize things. So, well, we we moved from uh, Rakta Joba to Maya in yes. 2005. You, it was also screened at International Film Festival. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, uh, these are uh, short films. It's all are short films, around 10 minutes films. Right, uh, and in 2016, that was the film that we just saw, Black Leaf. Yes, to Black Leaf was in 2006. Sorry. 2007. Right. 2006, 7. Yeah. Right. Uh, not a penny. Not a gun. Not a gun. Yeah. It also won an award. It's actually received two awards. Best Film Award. Best Film Award from the Bangladesh Documentary Film Council. Right. And the very recent one that I received, you know, uh, it's a nationwide, it's a kind of a national award uh, by Shilpukala Academy as the best documentary film. And it received in one lakh taka cash prize as well. Oh, great. And it has been shown in 70 districts at a time. Right. Because the Bangladesh government has now the new initiative through Shilpukola Academy. Uh, it was a national competition. In the th for, what's, for the what's it about? Not a, not a penny, not a gun is a slogan in 1971 mm -hmm. when um, the Bangladeshi, British Bangladeshis used to say this word in the street. Right. Uh, that we will not give you not <coughs> a penny mm -hmm. and not a gun. That means actually it was who is to the Pakistan. Who is, who is you? Pakistan. Pakistani. Pakistan. Not a penny, not a gun. Yahya Bhuttu, not, not Khan. Penny was the tax. No, not a penny means we would not allow you to get any more money from uh -huh. Uh -huh. any government or anything because mm -hmm. they were going to various embassies. Even they went to um, uh, International Monetary Fund uh, Conference in France right. uh, to protest there.
mm -hmm. and to say that don't give any money to Pakistan because right. the money you're going to send. Will be used against yeah. us. So not a penny, not a gun. Yahya Bhuttu Tikka Khan. That was their <laughs> slogan. Yes, that was the slogan. So I was interviewing somebody and suddenly he said, oh, you used to say not a penny. And I said, that's a beautiful name, you know, not a penny, not a gun. Anyway, I mean, that is a, that is a very interesting story. Uh, in fact, we can watch a couple of uh, minutes if you want to watch from the uh, not a penny, not a gun. Is it possible to get some, some footage from there? Not a penny, not a gun. Uh, how long is this? Uh? It, the film is 40, sec, 40 minutes, but uh, it is very interesting. And another interesting thing that I have to mention that uh, recently Bangladeshis, British Bangladeshis okay. now are being considered as Mukti Juddha. Right. Because the let, let us see let the us film see here. That. Thank you. This is an historic occasion for us, for the people of Bangladesh. We have in our midst finally the free Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the beloved leader of the people of Bangladesh and the leader of the oppressed people of the world. Bongo Bundu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. This is the man who became the first Prime Minister of Liberated Bangladesh, known as the father of the nation, Bongo Bundu. The man standing next to him is my father. My father, Azizul Haq Bhuya, was the convener for the steering committee of the Action Committee for People's Republic of Bangladesh in the United Kingdom in 1971. My father returned home, the liberated Bangladesh, in January 1972, just a few weeks after the freedom of Bangladesh, and he never returned to the UK for living. He maintained a life of a social activist, a politician, and a journalist. Another January in 2006, my father passed away. As a family, we were told, given his contribution to the liberation of Bangladesh, he would get a guard of honor, a state recognition at his funeral. We waited with our father's dead body, but there was no news from any government office. Later, we were told that the local district office did not consider my father as a freedom fighter, as he was abroad during the war in 1971, and he did not fight with a gun. Since then, I have been thinking what about many hundreds and thousands of Bangladeshis in abroad, who, like my father, fought relentlessly for the campaign for free Bangladesh, building world opinion against the brutality of Pakistan. They marched in many foreign streets, raised funds, gathered public opinion, maintaining and loving international diplomacy. These people could not reach the war front to fight for their beloved country with a gun, but they fought with their heart and soul for a free Bangladesh. Well, not a penny, not a gun. What did you say? You completed this uh, expression? Which one? Not a penny, not a gun. And it uh, ended yeah, in yeah, but to take a gun. <laughs> uh, uh, and this film was uh, uh, received, I mean, uh, two awards. Uh, one was from the... Bangladesh Documentary Film Council. And, and another one was from the um, National uh, uh, Art Art Gallery, uh, Bangladesh Shilpokala Academy. Shilpokala Academy, yes, I see. And it was also shown at uh, so many... Not in international film festivals, but, but in Bangladesh. Right. And also 70 districts in Bangladesh at a time. Right. Uh, on the National Film Week. Yeah. Right. Uh, in your... In your... 
shall I say, free time. <laughs> uh, you also make uh, ad films, isn't it? Yes, Com <laughs> marketing <laughs> commercials, yes. Yes, sir. And uh, that takes uh, a lot of time, of course, and of course that uh, draws in a lot of expertise that you have learned yes. while producing these documentary. And the short films. Yes. Uh, uh, let me mm, have something from you, like what is, an ad film is uh, maybe about 30 seconds yeah. or one minute, to see, maximum one and a half. 30 seconds or yeah. 40 seconds, yes. yeah, maximum. Like that. So it takes everything to go into that, those very precious and costly 30 seconds. Absolutely. How do you manage that? What is needed there? What is needed to make an impression on the mind of the audience, the, the, the viewer, that he has to buy this, he has to get this service. Mm -hmm. well, what are your objectives? How can you really convince uh, within 30 seconds? I think that there is a, the, any advertisement, you know, there is a saying that it is a knife, advertisement is a knife which has got two sides. Right. It cut when it goes and it cuts when it comes back. Right. <laughs> when our <laughs> knife cuts in one way, but advertisement cuts both ways. Right. Which means actually an advertisement has to be very sophisticated and it has to have a different layer of messages. Mm -hmm. And I always say that whatever your business, your advertisement has to be much more than that. Uh -huh. And then it can cut both ways. Mm -hmm. for, for example, a wow factor. Firstly, it has to create that wow factor. Right. And secondly, other wow factor is the offer of the service that you are providing. So it can cut both way. So you have to you have to present it as the best thing available. Absolutely, and that is why I mean, fortunately, I say sometimes it is probably an unfortunate thing for me, although it is bringing because it is taking me away from my documentaries and right. other film that I wanted to do, and I'm sometimes I feel sad that for just a little bit of money I'm making an advertisement for this company. But these companies are becoming so much reliant on me because my motto is whatever I do, I do with a lot of passion. Right. I do with sincerity and I do it as my, I'm doing it for somebody and I want the product to be successful. And uh, I'm glad to say that I mean in, in, in NTV or I mean in NTV particularly if you watch 10 minutes probably six minutes of the advertisements are my advertisement. Well, uh, that's a very happy note, uh, <laughs> Mr. Magbul Chaudhary. It was great having you, and uh, it was my pleasure and honor. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you, viewers, for being with us. Uh, and as usual, we hope that you have enjoyed your show as much as we have, and the, the, the trouble that we take in presenting and bringing such uh, distinguished personalities to our studios. Same time, same channel, next week. See you again. In the meantime, take care.